Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling intellectual adventure, a journey back to the birthplace of Western philosophy, ancient Greece. We'll be diving deep into the world of logic and reason, the tools these brilliant minds use to understand the universe and themselves. But wait a minute. Who am I, your guide on this philosophical odyssey? Well, let's just say I've spent a considerable amount of time pondering the big questions alongside the likes of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Okay, maybe not literally, but through their incredible works, I've become fascinated by the way they laid the groundwork for logical thinking as we know it. So buckle up, grab your metaphorical thinking caps, and get ready to be amazed by the intellectual firepower of ancient Greece. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Part 1. Before the boom, the seeds of logic are sown. Before we delve into the golden age of logic, let's rewind a bit. Contrary to popular belief, logic wasn't invented overnight. It all began with a shift in thinking that happened around the 6th century BC. Imagine a world dominated by myths and traditions. People explain natural phenomena through gods and goddesses. Then, a group of thinkers known as the Pre-Socratics started questioning these traditional explanations, introducing the Pre-Socratics, the founders of reason. We have Thales of Miletus, considered by many as the first philosopher. He believed there had to be a fundamental, natural element that formed the basis of everything. For him, it was water. Then there was Anaximander, who proposed a boundless, undefined principle called the Aperon. Heraclitus, on the other hand, saw the world in constant flux, famously stating, you can never step into the same river twice. These thinkers, though not exactly logical in the modern sense, were planting the seeds of reason. They were challenging old myths and seeking natural explanations. They were the pioneers, the intellectual rebels who paved the way for the logical giants to come. Part two, into the big leagues, the golden age of logic. Now, Fast forward to the 5th and 4th centuries BC. This is where things get really exciting. We enter the golden age of Greek logic, a time that produced some of the most influential minds in history. Here, we meet the Titans, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Socrates, the master of questioning. Socrates, a man who walked the streets of Athens barefoot and engaged everyone in conversation. He wasn't interested in simply imparting knowledge. He was all about asking questions. His method, known as the Socratic method, involved relentlessly questioning assumptions and beliefs until a clear understanding emerged. Imagine this. You're a young Athenian politician, strutting around claiming to be wise. Socrates approaches you, a twinkle in his eye, and starts asking seemingly simple questions about courage or justice. Before you know it, you're left speechless, realizing the hollowness of your own claims. Brutal. Right. But that's the power of the Socratic method. It exposed logical fallacies and forced people to think critically about their beliefs. Plato. The world of forms and dialectic. Socrates' most famous student, Plato, took things a step further. He believed there existed a world of perfect forms, the ideal versions of everything we see in the material world. A perfect chair form exists, and our earthly chairs are just imperfect copies. Now, how do we access these forms? Enter dialectic. Plato's method of reasoning. 
It involved a structured conversation, a logical dance between two people, where ideas were challenged and refined until they reached a state of truth. Imagine a lively debate, but one governed by strict rules of logic and evidence. Part three, the logic master. Aristotle and the birth of formal logic. Finally, we come to Aristotle, arguably the most influential logician of all time. He's often credited with being the father of formal logic, the systematic study of the rules of valid reasoning. Remember those debates we talked about with Plato? Aristotle formalized them. He identified different types of arguments, like syllogisms, those logical structures with a major premise, a minor premise, and a conclusion. He also developed tools like logic, syllogistic, a way to analyze arguments and determine their validity. Imagine this. You're trying to convince your friend that all dogs are friendly. You say all mammals are friendly. Fido is a mammal, therefore, Fido is friendly. This is a syllogism, and Aristotle would be proud. By analyzing the structure and terms used, we can see if the conclusion logically follows from the premises. The legacy of ancient Greek logic. The impact of these ancient Greek thinkers on logic and reason is simply phenomenal. They provided the foundation for Western philosophy, science, and even law. Their emphasis on clear thinking, reasoned arguments, and the pursuit of truth continues to shape our world today. Logic in action. From courtrooms to science, let's take a look at some real-world applications. In a courtroom, lawyers use logic to build their cases, presenting evidence and arguments to convince the jury. Scientists rely on logic to design experiments, analyze data, and draw conclusions. Logic in everyday life. But logic isn't just for fancy professions. We use it every day, even in seemingly trivial situations. Deciding what to wear based on the weather forecast. Using logic, choosing the fastest route to work. Logic again. Even that, internal debate about whether to have another slice of pizza. Yep. That involves a cost-benefit analysis, which is essentially a logical process. Part four, the challenges and the future. Now, don't get me wrong. Logic isn't a magic bullet. There are challenges. Sometimes emotions cloud our judgment, leading to illogical decisions. Biases can creep in and fallacies can trap us. We need to be aware of these pitfalls and constantly hone our critical thinking skills. The future of logic. But here's the exciting part. The field of logic is still evolving. Modern logicians are exploring areas like symbolic logic, which uses symbols to represent statements and arguments, and modal logic, which deals with possibility and necessity. These advancements are being used in artificial intelligence, computer science, and even linguistics. Part five, the call to reason. In today's world, bombarded by information and opinions, the ability to think logically is more crucial than ever by learning from the ancient Greeks. By embracing the power of reason, we can become better critical thinkers, more discerning consumers of information, and ultimately, better decision makers. So, the next time you find yourself wrestling with a complex issue, Remember Socrates' relentless questioning, Plato's pursuit of truth, and Aristotle's love of logical analysis. Channel the spirit of these ancient philosophers, and who knows, you might just solve the problem at hand, or at least impress your friends with your newfound reasoning skills. If you're interested in learning more about logic and reason, there are tons of resources available online and in libraries. There are even fun logic puzzles and games that can sharpen your critical thinking skills. Let's keep the flame of logic alive. Thanks for joining me on this 
intellectual adventure through ancient Greece. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more philosophical explorations. Until next time, keep thinking critically and keep questioning the world around you.